Right. So, here's something that'll mess with your head today. What if those ancient mystics weren't just making up stories about consciousness being connected to everything? Because, mate, modern quantum scientists are starting to think they might have been onto something massive. And I'm not talking about crystal healing nonsense here. See? There's this physicist, Roger Penrose, Nobel Prize winner, not some fringe character, who's been studying these tiny structures in our brain cells called microtubules. And get this, they might be quantum computers inside your skull right now. Now, ancient Hindu texts talked about consciousness as this fundamental fabric of reality, right? The Upanishads describe awareness as existing before matter, before time. Same thing with Plato's realm of forms, this perfect timeless dimension behind our everyday reality. But here's where it gets properly weird. These quantum microtubules collapse from multiple possibilities into single thoughts, exactly like how those ancient texts described enlightenment as moving from illusion to truth. The math is starting to match the mythology, mate. Think about it. Every mystical tradition talks about transcending the illusion of separation, returning to some unified field of consciousness. Buddhism calls it Buddha nature. Christianity talks about being one with divine love. Aboriginal Dreamtime describes reality as fundamentally conscious. And now, quantum mechanics is suggesting consciousness might literally collapse reality from potential into actual. We're not separate observers. We're participants in creating what we experience. Lily mentioned the other day that maybe ancient wisdom keepers understood something about the nature of mind that we're only now rediscovering with equations and experiments. Of course, she was giving me one of those looks again while she said it. But seriously, what if enlightenment isn't some mystical achievement, but actually remembering how consciousness works at the quantum level? What if meditation is literally tuning into the superposition state before thoughts collapse into binary thinking? Makes you wonder, are we living in the shadow of something our ancestors could see clearly? So here's what I'm curious about. Have you ever had one of those moments where you felt connected to everything? Was that just brain chemistry? Or were you tapping into something more fundamental? Drop your thoughts below and maybe we'll explore this rabbit hole deeper next time.